All right, welcome back to the Captain Sparkles subreddit, including the obligatory, hey, if you've been missing out on Reddit videos for the past many months here on this channel, go to the Jordan Reacts channel, linked in the description. Okay, so I, I was gonna start off with number 19, but I, I actually don't understand the context of it at all. So instead we'll do, we'll do number 20, a very rare start here. Thanks, Zine. Sentient tornado, Jordan making stairs. I mean, it is kind of Zine's fault, because he, added the number so that the tornadoes can actually be sentient or whatever number you put in the config file in order to make sentient tornadoes true. He's like, this is a good idea. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we want tornadoes to go directly towards our house? Because they're aware of our location. Unbelievable. It's okay. Our house is made of stone now. And so it's going to be all right, even if we do get rammed into by a tornado. But I think the weather deflector is going to work just fine. Also, this is over on Ultra Modded Revival. In case you've been missing that series, it's uncut over on CS2 and cut down over on this channel. Here on this channel, not over on this channel. Number 18, the Ultra Modded Revival. Is this diamonds? Literally everyone, is this diamonds? Red Ant Troll Block. Yeah, dude. Okay, so Zine was saying that apparently some of the people who were saying I missed diamonds, they were right, that there were some diamonds in a cave that I did walk by. But I don't think most of the people were talking about those diamonds Zine ended up finding. They were talking about the diamonds that were on the floor in the strip mine that I mined over to love. And they're like, dude, you missed diamonds, you idiot. And then everyone bandwagons in the chat. And I'm like, they're not diamonds. This is Red Ant Troll Block. It's going to be the bane of my existence streaming this entire series is everyone who, who like misses. What am I looking at? Actually highlighting that it's a troll block. And they'll be like, dude, there's diamonds back there. And then they even sometimes it's called out diamonds for blocks that are bluish but not actually anything that resembles diamonds. Sorry, I have a long history of people telling me I've missed diamonds. It's not just started off in this series. This is just, it's increasing the amount because there are blocks that have the same texture as diamonds, but you break them and you get ants. It's like my house. Fortunately, I haven't broken anything open and just had ants pour out because I'd probably have a heart attack. And if I survived it, I would have to move. Apparently, Jardinian has a secret hotel franchise he never told us about. Jardin. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, you got me here, dude. It also, it's very green. It looks like um, some kind of NVIDIA spinoff. Did you know I also own a big stake in NVIDIA? And by a big stake, I mean I own a few shares because it's a publicly traded company. I do actually have a few shares. I'm not making that up. So I'm basically the owner of NVIDIA and the Jardin. Did you actually take that picture yourself? Is this original content? You just like, you were driving passenger in a car. I hope you were passenger in a car and not actually the one behind the wheel. You're like, oh, look at that. It's like jarred. And then you add the N and it sounds like Jarden. That's, that's kind of funny. I'll give it to you on that one. I drew a paused frame from one of Jardoni's subreddit vids. You're welcome and I'm sorry. This might be the first time that someone with like real artistic talent has elected to try to make a, a photo or sorry, an illustration purposefully of me looking like an idiot from a, a stupid idiot still frame in a video. How could you do this? Okay, your talent could have gone <laughs> towards not making me look dumb, but instead it's making me look dumb. Man, I wonder if you had done me not looking like an idiot, maybe it wouldn't have hit like top 19. It's only, it's only images where I look dumb that make it into the top 19 of the week on the subreddit and occasionally top 20, like this week. I just didn't get number 19. So anyway, <sighs> sure there are a million still frames in this video where I could look like that, except not, because I'm not wearing a hat this time. So get wrecked. Are we gonna do this? When we confuse Jordan and, 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 and by switching captions on prequel memes. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume that that's not what they're saying in, in this particular situation, right? Yeah? Is the old switcheroo ever a line in any of the prequels? That, or maybe this, and maybe this is like reverse, reverse psychology. And so this actually is the line, but I'm thinking it's not, God dang it. I'll watch the prequels at some point, but even then it's gonna be like in one ear and out the other. And then in a week, I'm gonna forget all the lines and stuff. And then I'm gonna have to watch them again. It's gonna be violating my rule though. As I've said in trials videos, I don't watch movies multiple times. Now I've said it here. Jardonian is officially Pewd's favorite Minecrafter. Okay, what we got? Oh, oh shit, it's Captain Sparkles, my favorite Minecrafter. <laughs> Someone has my skin in VR chat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, anonymous person who has my skin and username. 
in VR chat. Is VR chat having a second coming now? I've been seeing more clips of it and now Felix is on it. I feel like this is VR chat 2.0, the resurgence. We're gonna get Ugandan Knuckles 2.0 memes or something like that. Oh, it's coming. Don't you worry. Did they update the game or something? Is that what's going on? That's why everyone's jumping back on it? I've never played it. I'm too lazy to set up VR in my house. I just like, I don't want the, it needs to be a self-contained rig. Anyway, thank you, Felix. I appreciate that I'm your favorite Minecrafter. Uh, you're my favorite meme review channel and, and drama news channel. Good quality content. Jardon never stopped. This is the year we bring back Minecraft. We just stopped playing it for no reason. So let's start over. I didn't like, I, I don't know. I didn't really stop playing. I was still doing it on the second channel, even when the reaction stuff, the Reddit stuff was here on this channel. So I just wasn't playing as much, but it's cool. You know, I have noticed in the last few weeks, some of the Minecraft stuff's been doing a little bit better. We've been getting algorithmed on a couple, like the spot the difference map or what, the odd one out, you know, that whole thing. So I was stoked to see that. You know, maybe we're getting a little bit of Minecraft reinterest because they're bringing out the snapshot updates. Well, they haven't in a few weeks. Maybe that's what it was. There weren't any new snapshots. It's like, all right, I guess we got to turn to YouTube for some new content. Oh, that dude. I remember Jardon. Let's watch his videos. And so that's what happened. And then we'll see where it goes in the future. Jardon didn't see this meme. Jardon, a girlfriend, Minecraft. I, wait, I, I can't tell. Is this consensual here? Cause that seemed like it kind of just came out of nowhere. You know, we went from zero to a hundred real quick. Were there any intermediate frames here? Was I like, did he walk over and we made eye contact and it was like, is this happening? And then both of us were like, yes, this is happening. Or did it just like he teleported in faster than the speed of light. And I was just caught. I could look a little caught off guard judging by the hand position. So apparently Minecraft won't leave me alone, even though I've, I've tried to escape. That's what happened with the reaction videos, and now the Minecraft is, has got hold of me again. We'll see what happens once Hytale comes out. Could be a competing, you know, we could have the the looking back meme, you know? The the guy and girlfriend and the, you, you know what one I'm talking about for the carbon fiber, that one. It'll be like Hytale over there, and we'll see. Zine thinks it's fine. Forgot to post this here. Oh, it's from Genestator. Hey. Before I comment on the photo, there's going to be an animation from Genestator that goes up uh, on Saturday. So I guess a couple days from now. He finished the deep end one that we saw like sort of a an outlined version of that was posted, I don't know, probably a couple months ago. Uh, and it was in one of the subreddit videos, but it's finished. And he's letting me post it up here. So it's going to be great. So you can look out for that in a couple days. Anyway, yeah, apparently Zine for some reason just thinks tornadoes are fine. He's like, oh, it's no big deal. If our house just gets picked up by a tornado, like, who cares? Why? What are you worried about, Jordan? What are you worried about when you're in the house just watching blocks fly up into the sky that are never going to be seen again? And you're going to have to rebuild. What's the problem there? I don't see the issue. I'm just going to hang out in the mine, keep on mining stuff. I don't see a problem. This is fine. Everything is fine. It's just, it's the, the dog in the burning house meme. A seventh Jardin Ball comic. Hey Cap, what happened to Fortress Fury from the Mare Music channel? Well, you see, that's really funny because we don't talk about Fortress Fury. Why is it the Marin Music channel that's asking me about it? <laughs> I didn't know the Marin Music channel was sentient and could ask about Fortress Fury. I mean, I, I feel like I've, I've said it a few times. Obviously not everyone hears it because not every single person watches every single video but you should. I just, you know, Fortress Fury, it, it, we released it, and when it was released, it definitely wasn't at a state where it was able to hold users. We didn't have the team to do regular updates on the game, which is kind of what you need when it's a mobile game, because mobile games need new content to keep people playing. Just didn't have that infrastructure in place. So at the end of the day, we basically just we didn't want to like keep paying developers, and we couldn't keep up with regular updates, and then it became there weren't many players on any longer, and so we just sunsetted it so we didn't have to keep paying the server expenses. So that's that's what happened with the game and uh, it's a good learning experience overall like I did learn a lot from it genuinely and uh, What I've learned is that I don't want to be the person who is super hands-on Doing all the play testing of the game and and doing all that. I would rather take a smaller role in exchange or for a, like a lesser percent and have more people with more expertise doing stuff so that I can focus on making videos and doing what I am good at. 
Um, cause I ended up doing a lot of stuff on that project that was like, it, it didn't require me to do it. It's just, there wasn't anyone else around to do it, but it wasn't something that required my expertise or anything. And so it took time away from YouTube, which was like kind of an important thing to be doing. And so anyway, that's, that's where Fortress Fury went. Sunset of the servers. And so there's no point in having people be able to continue downloading the game when they aren't going to be able to connect to anyone else. But anyway, I get occasional asks on Twitter about it. So once again, that is what happened. The original Fortnite Battle Bus. Oh my god. Can we copy strike Fortnite? I didn't even think about the similarity before. I wonder if the person who designed the Battle Bus for Fortnite or came up with the idea watched Mayanite first. And maybe they were in the process of kind of figuring out the game. Except I think the Battle Royale mode in Fortnite was added like really later on. It was almost an afterthought. So maybe they were in the middle watching Mayanite, they're like, oh, we could do this thing where we do this, where we put the Flyanite into Fortnite and everyone drops from it. Oh my God. Hey, you know, everyone's jumping in right now on like the whole trying to, <laughs> trying to sue Epic for the Fortnite dances and stuff, you know? Maybe we need to get on that for the battle bus. I'm kidding, Epic Games, just in case any of you are watching this, this is a joke, okay? I'm not a litigious person, I don't care. I would be honored if you use the Flyonite as inspiration for the battle bus. I doubt that it's the case, but if it was, I would be honored. Absolutely. How the world sees, I just am not bothered with this pronunciation. How friends see you, how your family sees you, how you see yourself. I'm okay with that one right there, personally. Um, I don't think I'm quite right there because of the holidays, but anyway. How society sees you? No, I, I what? No, I don't, I don't think society generally sees me with lipstick on. How you actually are. I'm confused on on why society sees me as, as having lipstick on most of the time. Because that's not the case. Usually, you know, it's not usually the case. But, and my family definitely doesn't see me in a suit very often. That's like super rare and out of character. So Anyway, what I was going to say is like, I want to schedule an actual fitness photo shoot kind of thing for the first time ever at like the end of February, maybe. And it'll kind of force me to get back on track after eating junk food during all the holiday time. So might happen. We'll see. When you own half of YouTube, but they still demonetize your videos, YouTube will decide your fate. I am YouTube. <laughs> yeah, man. The problem here is I only own 50% and in order to have a majority uh, uh, share and be able to make all the decisions, I'd have to have 51%. So I'm like 1% shy. That's why they still demonetize me because I don't have that 1%. I am not the 1%. I need to be the 1% and then I'll be able to just be green monetization icons all the way down, especially on the Jordan Reacts channel because that's the one that gets hit the most now which doesn't surprise me, but also I wish it didn't happen. So, but that's the thing is like, sometimes I'm going through a subreddit that has gifts on it and I'm like, ah, oh, Jukin's gonna claim it anyway. So let me just make it demonetized. <laughs> it's like my, I have, I can do payback against Jukin for claiming. The OG Battle Royale, Minecraft Hunger Games, Fortnite. I get this reference. I wouldn't have gotten this reference three days ago, but I saw Spider-Verse. And so I get this reference now and it's, it's fairly accurate. God, that was a good movie though. Highly recommended if you haven't seen it yet. I mean, I didn't know anything about all the lore of Spider-Man comics that goes into the thing, but I mean, for anyone who's like a big Spider-Man comic aficionado, they're gonna be like, oh my God, this does so much fan service. But I had no idea there are like multiple dimensions and Spider-Man and all this stuff. It's, yeah, it's all news to me, but also just from like an art and animation perspective, it's a pretty, pretty incredibly well done film. Pretty cool. It happened. Did you learn how you should follow Captain Sparkles because he loves your pizza? He doesn't follow us. Well, then follow for follow. Sounds perfectly reasonable. They followed me and then I forgot for like a few hours and then I came back and I was like, oh, wait, I have to follow them back, don't I? And then I did. But they were probably kind of worried for a few hours. They're like, is he going to follow us back? This is a big deal. He likes pizza a lot. We need to get the number one most biggest pizza fan in the world to follow our Twitter. But now it's all it's it's all worked out in the end. You know, for some reason, they're able to monitor every mention of pizza on Twitter. And now we follow each other. And they also don't follow like one million accounts like you might expect. They only follow a thousand accounts or so. So it's like a Twitter feed that's actually readable. So like I'm in there now. So I just I'm kind of I'm half torn 
because man, it'd be cool to have a lifetime supply, but also I don't think that'd be a good idea, especially not if I'm gonna do that fitness photo shoot next month. Mm, maybe after that, then I'll just, I can fall off the wagon after some photos. The official ninth channel commenting publicly as a Jack Johnson. That's my test account. And for some reason it was, uh, it was logged in on like a private browsing. So I do all the, uh, all the Reddit videos in incognito windows because that way, cause I sometimes if I'm browsing through Reddit, just when I'm logged into my account, I'll be on the home page and I'll just like be browsing. I'll click through posts. And then those posts will show as already seen grayed out links if I go to the subreddit directly. And so I just do it in an incognito window so that there's no grayed out links. And so for some reason though, when I like, it's just stayed logged in, which I'm pretty sure is not supposed to be the case. Isn't the whole incognito browsing supposed to be, you don't stay logged in on any accounts. I don't know why my test accounts just like sticking around. Google, you have some answers to present. But yes, that is the, uh, I forgot to subscribe to PewDiePie, but I fixed it. So we're good now. We're good. So don't, don't worry about it. I know a lot of people were upset. They were commenting, you're not subscribed to PewDiePie anymore. It's not anymore. I just forgot about that account. Don't worry. We're good. 400 foot high drone video proof that I live nowhere near a Starbucks, 10 miles to be exact. Are we really doing, we're doing this? Okay, context, last week, dude just like, I was saying everyone must live within a mile of a Starbucks. He walks out of his house, he goes around and he's like filming, he's showing that he lives in a rural area. And I was like, ah, there could be a Starbucks right on the other side of that tree line there. Well, here we go. You were really starting with the, you have, I want to believe that you bought this drone just so that you could make this video. <laughs> can't believe this has gone this far. I can't believe this. I mean, you're only looking in one direction though, so I'm gonna need that spin around, okay? Otherwise, I'm not sure I'm gonna believe it. Where's the spin? Give me that spin. I see a lot of trees out in that direction, but for all I know, there's a Starbucks like, okay, you're spinning. You knew that I was gonna call out the holes in your story. This is rural North Carolina for you, Jardon. It's a lot of trees. It must be really good oxygen rich air that you're breathing there. I wonder if you'll grow to be a larger human than most because of like all the oxygen. You know how during when the dinosaurs were around, the air had some like, I don't know, 20% oxygen content or something. And what was there like one time when it on earth, oxygen, there was such high oxygen content that the air was actually flammable in some places. I can't remember if I ever read that stat. That doesn't seem right, but. Anyway, you'd really big insects because there's so much oxygen and like they breathe through their skin. So they just, woo, they get big. So I wonder if you living there, you like get bigger like an insect. That's how Jardon works. Level one crook, level 100 mafia boss. God damn it, I'm out of the loop on this meme. I'm so, I am 100% out of the loop. I don't know the origination. I don't know the context. I've seen it a couple times on Twitter, but I haven't looked into it more. And apparently it's kind of like all over the place with how the thing is applied. And yeah, like the, I swear this meme has evolved into so many different things, says the top comment. Like I don't, God, I don't know the context, but I kind of can infer this is, this is when I start the game. And this is when I, this is where I get to when I finish the game, but I didn't finish too much food. So this is a tastier place to be if I'm being completely honest with you. <laughs> much more delicious taste. Actually, I probably weighed less here than I, than I do here. It's just there was no exercise going on is all. Painted my 4G TRC car to match Jordan's car. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. I think I might've caught a glimpse of this on Twitter and I thought it was a, a Forza render because it really does look like a Forza render. Oh, it's it's actually legit. You painted your, that's cool. That turned out really well. Like what the, that's a really, dude, like that's a really, really solid glossy coat right there. That doesn't look like someone just took a spray paint bottle and just pshh. No, that looks like you took it inside a freaking clean room and you were wearing white hazmat suits and you put a bunch of taped off lines on there and then you had one of those fancy airbrush can things, the metal stainless bottle and then you're just like, you're just like, Psh, and this thing is mounted on clamps and a table in the middle and it's like, this is some professional quality stuff. Well, that's cool. Now we need to see it in action. All right. It needs to, uh, we need to get like a scale replica course of, of Sarth and then to have you go around in record time. That'd be cool. Okay. Well, I mean, not, you know, not re It wouldn't actually be the record because that would be an LMP1 car, but you get the idea. So anyway, 
that's uh, that's pretty nifty stuff. Pretty nifty indeed. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch more of these videos, subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background right now, link is in the outro and description over on Mary Music. Have a good one. Oh,